was pierced for our transgressions and crushed for our sin. The punishment that brought us peace was upon Him. And by His wounds, by His wounds we are healed. He was pierced for our transgressions and crushed for our sins. The punishment that brought us peace was upon Him. And by His wounds, by His wounds we are healed. We are healed by Your sacrifice and the life By your grace we are saved, we are saved. And he was pierced for our transgressions, and crushed for our sins. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds.
Good afternoon, uh, First Lines Church, loving family. This is Pastor Eric, and I just want to uh, thank you for being part of our Good Friday service. This is a new normal. This is a different kind of a service. Uh, we decided to pre-record our parts of the service. Dave and Chris uh, led us in a couple worship songs, and I'm sharing briefly from God's Word. We're going to keep this uh, as a relatively short time with you uh, via Facebook Live, if you're watching it that way, or via our YouTube uh, channel. Either way, we want to spend some time with you. And as I was thinking about Easter, I started to think of why we celebrate it. You know, that's a question. Why do we celebrate Easter? Do we celebrate it because of jelly beans? Do we celebrate it because we just love spring? Do we celebrate it because... Um, Easter baskets are pretty cool. Do we celebrate it because it's just something we've always done? Well, as I looked at God's word, I looked at John chapter 10, uh, verse 10. It says, I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly or have it abundantly. And I just want to talk a little bit about that text because I believe that text answers the question answers the question of why do we celebrate Easter? I believe that the human condition, that we have three primal needs. The first need is we want to be noticed. Secondly, we want to be accepted. And thirdly, we want to be satisfied. And as I read that text, I look at the text and it says, I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. That very first phrase, I have come, Jesus is declaring that he came for a purpose. We know throughout the gospel story and through that verse, as we get to it here in a few moments, he came for you and for me. He came for a reason. He came because he noticed you and me. Where people try to get noticed in all ways, shape, or forms, it has been hardwired in us since birth. When we watch our grandson, who's uh, about a year old, he definitely wants to be noticed. And he makes his um, desire to be noticed well known. He will cry. He will whine. He will crawl over and raise his hands up. And in all for a desire to be noticed. As I look at our other grandkids who are older, I see one who wants to be noticed, and when he's not being noticed, he might throw a tantrum. I see a, another one that uh, wants to be noticed, and when they're not being noticed, that one might whine. I see another one who wants to be noticed, and uh, that one's getting to the point of where uh, they might even manipulate people or manipulate situations to be noticed. So the very first reason that we celebrate Easter is that Easter answers the need to be noticed. The second reason we celebrate Easter is Easter answers the need to be accepted. Wow, and that need to be accepted, we try all kinds of different things, don't we? Sometimes we put on a mask and hoping that that phoniness, that mask will cover up our pain. And that pain uh, will be covered up and will be accepted by somebody. Maybe it's, um, we try hard. If I just try harder, maybe when you were a teenager, you just tried to be good. Or maybe you caused a little trouble. All in a desire to be accepted and a desire to be noticed. It says in John 6, it says, Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me and still do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And listen to this. Whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. I looked that verse up in a bunch of other different versions. Uh, the New Living Translation says, Whoever comes to me, I will never reject them. The English Standard says, Whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. The New American Standard says, whoever comes to me, I will certainly not cast out. Wow. The ISV says, 
he who comes to me, I will never turn away the one who comes to me. Wow. If you want acceptance, if you want true acceptance, it is found in the message of Easter. Easter answers the need to be noticed and to be accepted. Answer, it answers the need to not only be noticed and to be accepted, Easter answers the need to be satisfied. It answers that very need. John 10.10 says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full or have it abundantly or more abundantly. We are wired for pleasure. We're wired for purpose. We're wired for enjoyment. We're wired to be satisfied. We're wired that when we're hungry, we need to eat something. We're wired that when we are cold, we need to be covered up with a blanket. When we're hot, we need to drink water and go inside for air conditioning. Many other satisfactions. We're wired to be satisfied. We're wired to have pleasure and purpose and enjoyment. I find it interesting that in God's word, it's very clear that in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, he who believes in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. When you look at our lives, each one of us re reveals the pursuit of satisfaction, the pursuit of being happy, the pursuit of being satisfied. There's a story in John chapter 4 of a woman that comes to the well to draw water. And Jesus said to her, will you give me a drink? Jesus answered to her and said, everyone who drinks of this water. Because he asked her the question, give me a drink. And she goes to give him a drink of water out of the well. But he says, everyone who drinks of this water, this man-made water, will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water I give him will never thirst. The reason that we celebrate Easter on this Good Friday evening is that Easter satisfies the three primal needs of man. Easter satisfies the need that we have to be noticed because Jesus noticed us and came and lived and died and rose again. Easter satisfied the need to be accepted. Jesus says, if, if you come to me, I will never, ever cast you out. Easter satisfies the need of being satisfied. Because it says in John 10, 10, I have come that they may have life and they may have it more abundantly. I want to leave you with that thought on this Good Friday evening. The question you have to ask yourself is what are you going to do with the question, what does Easter mean to you? Have you found true acceptance? Have you found true satisfaction? Have you found that you have been noticed by a holy, loving God? If you haven't found that, I encourage you to seek. I encourage you to say to Jesus, Jesus, I need a savior. I need a savior to take care of that sin that creates all these needs within me that desire to be accepted and noticed and desire to be satisfied. Forgive me of my sin and come and be my Lord and be my Savior. You make it a great Good Friday evening. We look forward to seeing you on Easter Sunday on our live stream at 10 a.m. FirstAllianceDE.com Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Talk to you soon. Make it a great day.